Hey everyone, today I have an art haul video for you. So the postman just dropped this off. They were actually inside a box. I already taken all the supplies that I have bought from Jackson's Art out of the box. So recently, Jackson's Art had a big sale on their website. Whenever there is a good sale happening, where the discount is 20% or more, I would share it on the community page of my YouTube channel. So a few days ago, I shared this post regarding the sale happening at Jackson's Art. Jackson's Art is a company from UK. It's a very huge company that sells a lot of products and they discounted all the watercolor brands. So I bought a lot as you can see. I usually wait for sales to happen before I stock up on paint. So this time around, I bought a lot of Mimery Blue and Jackson's Art watercolor. Now these were all packed in bubble wrap, but um, inside the bubble wrap, they have this plastic bag where all the watercolor tubes are. So let's see what we have here. My Mary Blue is a company from Italy and they sell watercolor paint in 12 ml tubes like this as well as in those pans. So they were having a good discount so I bought some to try. Now because these watercolor tubes they are not packed in boxes so many of these tubes actually were pressing against each other. So when I open it up I have to be careful of the paint which can rush out. So I have many colors here, too many for me to actually go through. So I only buy so many when there's a sale happening. Otherwise, um, I probably won't spend so much money. And in this bag, I have the watercolor paint from Jackson's Art. They are house brand. I read online that these are actually Sennelier's paint but rebranded under Jackson's Art. There is no official confirmation so I don't know how true that is. But anyway, I've used this um, brand before and the quality is really high. These are available in half and full pans in 10 and 21 ml tubes. So the tubes that I have here, they are 21 ml so there's a lot of paint in them and they are going to last for a very long time. The watercolor paint from Jackson's Art is really value for money. You can get top quality artist grade watercolor paint for very low prices compared to brands like Schmincker, Daniel Smith and even Mimery Blue. One thing to note about this brand is the paint is quite fluid. So when you try and squeeze this out, the paint will sort of flow out very easily. And when you dry the pen, I have two examples here. The paint would dry with a shiny glossy surface. I believe they may have used honey in the paint. Honey would absorb moisture from the air to allow the paint to dissolve more readily. And these paints, they dissolve very readily. Just for comparison purposes, this is Daniel Smith's paint and this dries to a matte surface. Early on, I mentioned that the paint is very fluid. So if you were to squeeze the paint into a pan like this and you put it like this, the paint will actually just flow out. It's that fluid. So you have to dry the paint very properly before you put it into your watercolor box. If not, the paint will run. And also after each painting session, you need to make sure to dry the paint properly as well. And lastly, I bought two pocket brushes. These are from the Cassano series of brushes made by Da Vinci. I have reviewed Cassano before on my YouTube channel and I was really impressed by the quality of these brushes. The hair is synthetic, but they behave very much like sable hair. Da Vinci makes really high quality watercolor brushes. Let me show you the one that I currently have. So this is the quill or the mop brush that I bought a few months ago. And these are the round brushes. And this is my worn out watercolor brush. One of the many worn out watercolor brushes that I have. 
let me wash these new brushes first. Because these are synthetic hair brushes, they are cheaper compared to sable hair brushes. And this Casanio hair, this can actually hold quite a good amount of water. And the flax, well, they snap back to shape quite easily as well. The difference between the round and the mop or the quill brush is the mop or quill, it has more volume, so these are designed to hold more water. Now, when you're buying really large brushes, sable hair brushes are really expensive, so you can actually save quite a lot of money by going with synthetic Casanio brush if you need to buy a big brush. I actually prefer this black handle body compared to Rosemary and Escoda. These two are longer. You may prefer a longer handle or a short handle. One reason why I like this is because this is the screw-on type collapsible body and you can screw it quite tight and it will never fall off. But sometimes with such um, pocket brushes, the connection here it can sometimes be a bit loose so when you're painting the brush may wobble a bit so when i'm painting sometimes i find that i need to sort of press down here so that i can have a tight fit but i never have such problems with da vinci pocket brushes and the other reason why i like this is because my first pocket brush is actually the da vinci pocket brush so seeing this brush really brings back fond memories of me learning and painting watercolor many years ago. And you can see the label on this body has already been worn out, worn off. And even the label on the sticker here, the barcode, it's no longer there. Do you have any special feelings for the first drawing tool you use or the watercolor brand you use? I do because I do prefer Da Vinci and also when I started learning watercolor I used Winston Newton that's a brand that I like very much but here in Singapore it's very expensive nowadays I use mostly Daniel Smith but I still um, really like Winston Newton the size 6 brush that I have here is able to fit into a typical 12 half pan metal watercolor box like this but uh, size 8 this is a bit too big to fit into the box yep it's a bit too long for the box so if you want something to fit into boxes like this you may uh, need to get size 6 or smaller but for rosemary brushes most of their brushes come in this size which is which fits very nicely into the box. And for Escodar, let's see. It's a bit too long as well. This is size 8. So you need to get a size 6 Escoda in order to fit into a box like this. I bought these two brushes so that I can bring them to the Urban Sketches Symposium which is happening at the end of this month in Amsterdam. If I'm at home, I would just use my wooden watercolor brushes. One thing I absolutely have to share with you regarding Jackson's art is when you buy brushes from them and your purchase is over 20 sterling pounds, you get free global shipping. So that is a very good deal. And the brushes on their website, they are priced quite competitively. So that's a huge reason why I like to buy brushes from them. The free global shipping applies only for brush purchases. If you buy brushes and watercolor tubes like this, they have other shipping discounts. So for example, when you buy 50 sterling pounds worth of products, you get 5 off. If you spend 75, you get 7.5 off. If you spend 100, you get 10 off. And if you spend 200 sterling pounds, you get 20 pounds of shipping. The shipping discount can be quite significant. So for me to ship all this from UK to Singapore, I used DHL, 3-day delivery, and I paid only 5 sterling pounds after the discount. 
if I buy from other companies from US, um, I probably would need to pay 30 US dollars and above. So it's really quite a good deal to buy stuff from Jackson's Art. I need to disclose that I'm actually an affiliate of Jackson's Art, which means whenever you buy stuff through Jackson's Art links in the video description, I actually earn some commission at no extra cost to you, of course. But when I buy stuff from them, I don't get any discount. I pay the same price as you actually. I'm telling you all this not because I'm an affiliate with Jackson's Art, it's just that their pricing it's really competitive. For example, with Winsor & Newton, the price of their watercolor tubes, it's half price compared to what I can find here in Singapore. So the pricing is really competitive and it's really a good deal. And if you want to buy stuff through Jackson's Art, you can support my channel by using the affiliate links, either in the video description below or on my blog. You can expect a lot of limited color palette videos coming soon. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you can get notified when those videos appear. And thank you for watching this art haul video. See you in the next video. Bye.